This is what we do, lay on the floor when we're uh, doing photo shoots. It's much more comfy than standing up. It actually is though. <laughs> I think this will be good for my back. It's like, good, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. No, I don't care, it's just going to be over the shot. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Scary. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning guys, today we were down the gym, so Hayla, Kiernan and myself doing a wrestling and also boxing style photo shoot. We had one hour to do this and it actually turned out pretty well, but we were obviously very very short on time and we had to work very very quickly and uh, this is how we got on. You tired yet? <laughs> Oh, bless you. <laughs> so a little bit of info, I am using the Sony A7R Mark IV, also had the 35mm f1.4 Samyang lens with me, and also the 14mm Samyang lens with me, and also the 135 G Master, which these shots were taken with. The Rotolite AOS as our lighting, and obviously it was a very bright gym, and uh, it's bright colours, yellow and everything everywhere, so black and white worked quite well, and I think it gives it more of a classic feel as well. Um, yeah, it worked really, really well. I was lost for words then. Um, <laughs> really, really good day. Um, I, we were literally down there 8 a.m. in the morning till 9 and uh, out the door, and that's all we had. So we had to improvise, had a few little ideas, um, but we did, did what we could. Um, like I said, there's part two with Kiernan, and uh, he's doing his wrestling style shots and jumps and things like that, so that's worth watching. Um, so Hayla did really really well, um, she looks fantastic on camera, but she does have lots of singing acting experience anyway so that really really helps. Yeah, quite good. So we're going to go and hold it, you've got height so that's helpful, don't hold the battery, hold the handles, little handle on each side. They thought about it when they made it, Rotolite, so aiming it down, so go a little bit in, that's it, yeah perfect. He's brilliant, look at that, he's like the ladder. <laughs> It's very tall. Make sure somebody below average height to try and help you with him. Yeah, basically. Right, it's just going to be a test shot, see what we get. Right, so come around this way a bit, Kina, please. That's it, that's better. How's my hair though? Fabulous. I don't know, I'll take, I'll take a picture in a second, show you. Right. So all of these shots are just processed, um, no real editing at all. The conversion between colour and black and white, just minor adjustments really, worked really, really nicely. Obviously I was exposing for um, Sahela herself and uh, with using the Rotolite AOS as my lighting source because there was so much other light around, I needed a bright light source on her, which means I could fire faster shot speeds to bring down the background. But even then, you can still see there's quite a bit of a light uh, background in the, you know, there's quite a lot of light in the background there still showing up. But it was quite good because you could see the punch bags and other sort of uh, boxing stuff there. So it kind of added to the feel. Um, really, really pleased. It was lovely working with her and same as Kenan as well. Um, as you can see here, we, we carried on and on and uh, we just had to work as quickly as we possibly could because, like we say, we only had an hour. scary noises it's because I'm it's because I weigh five and a half tons um, if you lean back I reckon yeah that's cool we need a moody bitch look now because I was using the Rotolite EOS and it's obviously constant lighting with flash it really does help you become very efficient with things like this so because obviously you only had an hour um, utilizing constant lighting with flash to just to boost the exposure um, it made life so much faster, easier, uh, getting the shot, as you can see here, the background, I had to control the lighting in the background because it's so bright behind, um, but it worked really, really well. So with the talcum powder that we had, we can also use powdered chalk and stuff like that um, on gloves and things. Um, with Sahela, I wanted to try something a little bit different, kind of give it the smoky atmosphere. With Kiernan, you'll see in part two, when I've done that, um, there is him punching the gloves together and things like that to give you a, a you know, the sort of powdered chalk kind of effect. Um, but these ones, we just sort of tried and messed about um, until we got it right. And it was just different angles of firing the stuff. It went everywhere. It was hilarious. Um, you know, so it was, it was good fun. It was a really, really good shoot. Everyone was hot laughing and smiling, as you can see here. 
Um, this is before it got powdery. So then it changed into that, which was really quite cool. And I really love this shot. Um, it's very direct, very sort of a little bit moody. Um, it just works really nicely. It's um, one of my favourite shots I've taken in a long time. Especially in black and white, I think it really, really has some kind of feeling and kind of attitude to it, which is which is really cool. Um, this shot here I also really like, just the way the lighting from behind, got that big strip light behind, and the way the powder and everything's tumbling down. Um, just quite natural as well. Um, these, like I say, these photos haven't really been edited, they've been processed, a couple of tweaks here or there, and that's it, and obviously a black and white conversion sometimes. I am going back to more sort of the old film way as such. So a lot less editing. I know we used to edit anyway uh, with film, but you know, just trying to touch the images less, trying to keep them more realistic, and just messing around with them less. You know, I know sometimes we we want to um, incorporate other shots into others and things like that. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. But general things like this, just keep it as real as possible, and it really does make you. It gives the photos a lot more purpose and a lot more feel, and you know, it just I think it. You can see the real person behind rather than uh, an edited, edited person, which I think is quite important. So, um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, obviously, please uh, subscribe to this channel if you if you liked the video. Uh, also, click the notification bell. And also, Sahela's got a YouTube channel, so I'll put the link below. Um, and also, um, Ken has got his uh, wrestling Instagram, and uh, Sahela's got her Instagram as well. I'll put the links down there. And also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram as well, which is sjm.photos. And uh, I shall see you soon.